Justin Clements. I don't know what was going on. I ended up back there now. This is the sec that was the second time. All packs and very I was held there for three months. The furniture covers were dirty and had to be washed. I came back from a walk from the shops and someone had thrown a plant pot through the window of where I used to watch TV, um, DVDs, videos. Oh, uh, most of the time I was just very bored, very bored indeed. I wasn't allowed any exercise, put in there against my will the second time. And basically I've got a large stomach because of no exercise. And that's because I fucked up our house, deciding to keep me there for three months on a wrong diagnosis of schizophrenia. But even the third, the first time I, kept, I stayed there, I didn't get any exercise. All I can remember the first time is a very dirty smoker's room. No bench at the back of the paramour. Just a marble slab which is still there now to sit on. Um, there was no basketball net and no football court. Just a, a bench in the middle of a very small garden area. Uh, you couldn't really exercise. You're incarcerated with a, uh, a very large fence. Then the builders came along and this time and made the, the, the garden even smaller. But the garden used to be uh, 40 foot across by about 60 foot in length. And basically it made me very unhappy staying there. It was like a prison. I couldn't go out. All I was allowed was a 30 minute walk in the morning, a 30 minute walk in the afternoon, um, twice a day, and a visit to the shops. I found it to be quite distressing as well. It was a very noisy environment. I had to, I've moved five times from one room to another room to another room, down the corridor, walking backwards and forwards, going into the toilet where the light's constantly on, going into the hallway where the lights are on. I couldn't get much sleep at all. I, um, at the end of it, after a while it became so hard that I had to ask for a zopiclone, which I didn't really want. I just wanted to, to go home and relax and have a decent night's sleep. And it also seems that um, Dr. Weatherly, or possibly Dr. Weatherly, one of the doctors at St. Clements, deliberately uh, informed the council and the police to drill through my door to see where I was. And on that day, I, had to go, I didn't have any inhalers that day, so I had to get a taxi to the council to do the new keys. And then I had to go back to my same property with a new set of keys, which I shouldn't have had to have. I should have been allowed my old keys. I had the note at home, which was written on, which was written and put on the front door. That taxi fare cost me about three pounds ten. It's not a lot of money when you're on a benefit. When I look in the mirror now, I see a very large, overweight person before I went into that hospital. I'd, I'd, it's neglect. It neglected my needs for proper physical activity. All I was allowed was a half an hour visit to the gym, or maybe 40 minutes. That wasn't enough. I had to burn off more calories. I was eating too many calories and not burn them off. And my appetite became increasingly hungry because I was bored in there, just like the first time. There was no really stimulation, just a, tea, a couple of TVs. It's just everything's electronic stimulation apart from the art group, which was only once a week. There's no tennis court there, or no, um, no nothing to play badminton. The bowling green you weren't allowed to play on. It was for other people. It, even the golf course you weren't allowed to go on. That was for other people. Not once did they say, would you like a game of golf? I just had to sit in. For ages and ages. Bored and getting more bored and more bored. If it wasn't for the friendly, um, not the nurses, if it wasn't for the friendly patients in there, then I would have felt even more unhappy. I was held there in summer, just at the start, well, it, it started to get very hot around June, 
Um, basically, I had to keep sitting in a corner in the shade. The heat became unbearable. Even the, um, you're not allowed to open the windows in the rooms only if there's only about a three inch gap. So basically, I didn't like sharing a room with somebody because I, I'm a private person. But basically, you can't rest. If you're, if you're in the back room, so the large double room, and someone keeps wanting to come in and go out again, how can you sleep when you want, or how can you rest, or how can you read when you want? And obviously, you have to communicate with them and talk to them, otherwise, it's quite rude to ignore somebody. My mental state of mind has never changed. It's been fine since school. I have many, many school reports saying, well done. Got on well with people. Friendly and polite to talk to people. The first time I went in there, the doctors were trying to find some type of pattern of brains. They put me onto a, uh, they put me under a, uh, a scanner to scan my brain. I didn't like that either. So there's, all of it was unnecessary. So basically, I have to blame the doctors at St. Clements for making me overweight 